Hi everyone, my name is Gulchan Shubham and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today's topic is how to block the use of items in transactions. So basically, there are three types to block an item for getting used in any of the transaction. First, you can block the items in purchase cycles. For example, you can block an item for getting used in purchase order, purchase quote, purchase invoice, so on the purchase side. Secondly, you can restrict the sales of an item so it means on the sales side so you can restrict an item from being used on sales code sales order sales invoice and third is blocking an item not to be used in any of the transactions let it be an uh, item journal let it be purchase sales everywhere throughout the system so to do this setup i'll take you straight to items the setup is quite simple. You have three booleans and for your ease, I have created three different items. First is block all, block purchase and block sales. So if you go to block all, you can see here on the first fast tab, we have this block boolean. So for block all, I have kept this on. It means this item is blocked to be used in any of the transaction throughout the system. Now, similarly, let's go for block purchase so here if i go to here you can see under the replenishment fast tab we have purchasing blocked okay here i have kept this on so for block purchase i have kept purchasing blocked as on similarly for the sales side you can see here in the prices and sales yes here it is sales blocked okay so we have these three categories of blocking purchase blocked sales blocked and blocked that is for all the items like for all the transactions okay now let's see how we can use this and what is the behavior whether when we try to search this item in the lookup we will not find it or whether we will find it but we will not be allowed to post it let's see how it happens so first check for the purchase side let's go on a purchase order Okay, let's say I have this one. Now, here, I'll try to search blocked. Okay, you can see that I'm only able to find block sales. Now, currently, I'm on a purchase order. Hence, purchase and block all I cannot find, but block sales I can find, which is obvious. Now, let's see. So, it means the lookup will be filtered. And to verify this, let's go to the inspect pages data here go to the page filters this is the best way to find any filters on any list page now here you can see blocked is no and purchasing blocked is no okay so it's quite clear that okay these two filters are applied here you cannot remove these filters for sure so you have the filtration on this item now if i go to Similarly for the sales, I'll keep this page inspection open. I'll go to sales orders. I'll use any of this. Okay. Let's try to check with BLOC block. So you can see here on the sales side, I'm able to find only block purchase item. Okay. It, this is also obvious. We cannot find so you can see you can observe that block all we cannot find in both of the transactions but on the sales side i can find black block purchase and on the purchase side i can find block sales okay you can see here blocked is no and sales blocked is no so again the filtration is here okay similarly the same thing you will find on sales quote as well and sales invoice as well now one important thing to note here is in the credit memos and return orders this filtration will not be there so let's say if i'm going on creating a purchase credit memo let's say i'm using this one here if i try to go for blocked you can see i have purchased sales and purchase blocked so purchase blocked i should not be getting on the purchase side because this i didn't get on the purchase order but here i am getting it so this means 
that we don't have any filtration on the credit side because this is obvious you're not allowed to purchase it but you can definitely accept the purchase returns so this is logical as well now again if we go and if you see you can see only one filter is applied blocked no okay similarly on the sales side you will get only blocked no filter okay now this is one point one more important point is now let's see also check the behavior on the item journal first so if i go to item journal here let's see what is happening ah you can see it is already selected let me unselect it sorry okay so here we don't have any filtration on this list view here we can see all these three types even if we go uh, i minimize this let me go through this again page filters okay we don't have any page filters here okay hence we have all these items visible but if i select any of this then i will get this validation okay so you can see if i select purchase block purchase i'm not getting this validation if i select block sales i'm not getting this validation but if i select block all then i'm getting this validation okay so i cannot use anything with blocked all but i can use block purchase and sales but provided you need to check the entry type here here the entry type is negative adjustment but irrespective of the entry type blocked all will not be allowed that is sure but here you can see i was able to select block purchase okay so it means i can select it i can post it but the entry type is negative adjustment now what will happen if i change it to purchase because in purchase order i cannot select block purchase item now let's say if i change the same thing on item journal entry type to purchase then you can see i have this validation okay so this means i cannot again keep this the entry type as purchase and purchase this item so it is logical and they have kept a right validation here similarly if i see for the sales item which is sales blocked here you can see it's not allowed if i go to purchase okay positive adjustment allowed negative adjustment allowed purchase allowed sales not allowed so correct validations put okay now one more important point to note here is what will happen if you are copying a document and the copy document has a line item which is blocked so in this case you will get a validation and that item that line will not be copied if it is blocked okay let's see it with an example i'll go to purchase orders here uh, i believe in this one i have used let's see okay so here we have one item which is blocked all okay now let's say i'm trying to use this 10 60 18 purchase order okay so what i'll do i'll try to use this in this one okay it has blank lines okay i'll go to this sorry process copy document okay 10 16 18 by default selected here okay 10 16 18 i selected now i'll both of this now click on okay you can see that i have i didn't get this line copied here and you can see here we have a message an error or warning occurred during cooperation copying purchase document this now go to details here you will get it the proper description that okay item 1004 is blocked okay so this is a very good information you will get an idea that okay this is why the line didn't get copied so in case of blocked item if you're trying to copy a document and that copy document has a blocked item then this will not be copied so i believe this is all we have in uh, regarding blocking items for purchasing sales so basically if i sum up we have three different type of blockings all purchase blocking sales blocking and blocking will uh, not work in case of returns and credit memos which is also practical and if a document has a 
item which is blocked and you are trying to copy it into another document that the line will not be copied. I believe uh, that's it.